Good afternoon and welcome from a very wet and rainy Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. It's um, yeah, a very wet and miserable day and what better day than to paint? I've just shut my dog outside because he's wandering round, wandering round. Oh my goodness. Remember it used to be the children they used to try and keep quiet, now it's my dogs. So, okay, what I have been having some wonderful fun in my art studio, mixing custom colours. I will disclose a few custom colours and how I mix them with you today because they have turned out some really beaut colours. Well, for a start, this is a very basic one. I mixed just my white, but I wanted to add some oomph to it. So I've added some of the Art Alchemy Opal Magic Violet Green to my white. And I've also added some of the Dragonfly Glaze. Now, somebody asked me who made this. It is folk art and it's made in the US. So definitely the people in USA can get these paints no problem if you're in australia um i got mine from capriole shabby chic which the link is in the drop down box so i just added those two to my white to try and get some oomph out of it some glitz some glistening things happening so we'll just try that one now these are the custom colors that i've made up and i'm going to Benson, that's naughty. No, no. He wants Bindi to play with him and she doesn't want to play. So, okay, these were all made up with my Montmartre paints. I will just grab the gold. This is the gold from Montmartre. And the good news is that I'm told from the USA people that Hobby Lobby is stocking Montmartre paints so that's really good um, you obviously could get them off Amazon but now you're going to be able to get them from Hobby Lobby so please let me know in the different areas in the US if you are going to Hobby Lobby and asking for the Montmartre paints because I can try and have a word with the Montmartre paints in Australia because they you know uh, what areas are you selling the paints for in the US. Okay, so I started with my gold. That's the, the colour I started with, the gold. Then this particular custom colour was the gold add a blob of burnt umber and it gives you this gorgeous sort of rich, oh it's just so much nicer than just the gold. So that's the gold with the blob of burnt umber. Then if you want to take it even darker, you add, so that's the blob with a bit of burnt umber. And then a bigger blob um, takes it even darker, as you can see here. And it's just, and because you're adding metallic, it's um, gold metallic, it is just such a rich caramel bliss, caramel bliss. Okay. Um, so that's them. Then the gold, I had gold in my cup and then I added just a blob of the phalo blue and this is absolutely stunning colour. It gives like this, I don't know what you'd call it, it, it goes, well the gold with the phalo blue is shimmery, shining, green, uh, I don't know what kind of green you would call this but it is just beautiful with that gold and the blue absolutely gorgeous so that's another custom one then silver the Montmartre silver and then I added, added silver and add a blob of black so then you get you get this grey silver metallic with adding a blob of black to your silver gives you this lovely metallic metallic charcoal colour and of course if you add another um, whack of black in there 
then it will send it more metallic charcoal so that is gorgeous I've added I added I'll tell you what I've added I added my pouring medium to this which is the 70% Montmartre PVA glue 30% water so glue water shake and shake and shake and then I keep several of these bottles made up to just pour straight into my paint when I want to I've added no silicone and that dog's very naughty sorry people I've added no silicone because I don't want any silicone in this particular pour that I'm going to do today so really um, great mixing now that was the silver and I added a blob of phalo blue and a blob of black and then a small blob of the green deep and then it comes out this really like steel metallic blue grey it is oh it's it's so shimmery it's so shimmery under these lights really lovely so it's just you know giving the opportunity to stretch your paint colors that you've got to make lots of custom colors and really make it your own so that one is that one there I'll have to think of names for these won't I this one was started with metallic silver so that's the metallic silver then I added phalo blue I where's that one okay that's the colour I got. So it's just silver and I added a blob of phthalo blue. I must have gone on to add the... Um, so I've started silver, added phthalo blue, then I went on to add black and a, a deep green, green deep and then it sends it this gorgeous sort of... It's like a steel, metallic, steel bluey... Oh, it's lovely. It's it's lovely so what color oh here we go what color is this one oh the gold with the blob of burnt oh that was it that's gold and blob of burnt umber gold with no where's my sienna i've added one with sienna burnt sienna have i added the wrong that's that's the one gold add a blob of burnt sienna so where is that oh my gosh i should have wrote on them look so that one is with the burnt umber and that one is with the burnt sienna burnt umber burnt sienna so and that's gold with those colors oh it just creates interest and fun and custom colors that you can truly say oh the colors are all my own because and you experiment with them when I say a blob I don't give measurements because everybody's paint needs different amounts so I'm not going to say measurements because the paint densities paint brands all require different amounts so just work with it add in bit by bit stir in it till you get the colors that you really like but that's just a little quick demo on custom colors I'm just going to use some of these colors on this canvas today so um, I'll start off with my sort of custom white with the uh, dragonfly glaze and the art alchemy hoping that when it dries it gives a shimmering effect to the canvas now this I'm doing it on this smaller canvas today because I do want to do it on a nice big canvas and I'm just testing it out seeing what these custom colors and how they dry so that's my shimmering white I'm gonna call it then I'm gonna go with the uh, which one is this now I haven't got my so it was oh this is the silver metallic so I also added a silver metallic and just white as well so that sends it just a paler 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 metallic so nice just playing with these paints today yes just playing with paints so much fun then I'll add my gold with my burnt sienna so rich so I'm not sure how these are going to come out because I have got no silicone whatsoever in these paints just my pouring medium 
And yes, I'm going to do a swipe, but um, we will see. So that's the, and then now this is the gold with the burnt umber. They are just, oh, you've got to try them. They're just absolutely gorgeous, shimmery paints. And so much fun to think you've made up your own paints yourself. So I'm going to go with that. Now, do I or don't I? I think this particular one, I'm not going to add those. Oh, shall I add a bit of this? Oh, this is unbelievably sexy. That's what it is. It's a sexy colour. It's, oh, it's going to add some oomph, I believe. So, this is the way I like to do my particular way I like to do my swipes and usually have really good results so it's got some blank spaces so now I will just tilt nice and slowly just relaxing while you do it it's remember it's your art therapy day no hurry nobody telling you what you should and shouldn't do only your own voices in your head giving us doubt which that can happen quite often no you shouldn't do that won't that won't go together that won't look good ignore the voices tell them to po quick go away you're um in your art therapy session and you're enjoying it and you don't want nobody telling you yay or nay you're just gonna enjoy it that's what you're gonna do Jilly's orders so nice and easy oh my goodness they are just shimmery shiny beautiful wow that is stunning just as it is just pick up some of the paint from the bottom just finger pop the edges don't worry about corners or anything if there's any baldy spots at the back I can finish those off afterwards it's absolutely no stress in this art room now I, I haven't done this before I don't believe I've swiped with one of my custom metallics but I'm going to try swiping with that the silver with the phalo blue blob of black and green sending it sort of this steel metallic -y navy I'm going to give it a go should I swipe right from the top down? Yes, she will. Now this has got no, remember, no silicon whatsoever. So I'm not expecting any um, cells whatsoever in this. Oops, what did I do there? Um, believe it or not, it's a cellless, a cellless jelly creation. Well, that's a less cells appear, which I'm pretty sure. They probably will because I've said they won't. Ah, oh, looking for a nice flat sheet. This is my Swifty, my swipe tool, soft plastic file divider. I just find it the very best thing to use. So let's oh, let's see how we go with no. That's not bending on the end. No silica, and I've took the, half the paint off. No silicon whatsoever, and so it, I'm hoping for no cells because I want it to. Well, I'll show you in a second what I would like it to do if it's not doing it. Missed a bit. Go back, go back. Just. Just take it nice and easy. No worries. That is just shimmering. So I'm hoping for kind of a landscape scene. That's what I'm hoping for. But I know if I have said it to you guys, it probably won't happen. Here we go. Here we go. So let's see what we get. Remember, no silicone. So no cells. 
I'm just getting rid of the air bubbles that's good I want to tilt it back because I've took a fair bit of the paint off there so this is my way of getting a landscaped look but with a pour and not with the paintbrush so my starry night looking over the beach you will see it form when I turn it towards you hopefully and do a bit more there are some cells coming up but hopefully they'll look more like stars so I have got a blob of something there I turn it towards you can you see my scene my scene is coming on so you're looking over the beach to the dunes and then what I want to do is just leave it for a few minutes for the paint to absorb into the canvas and then I'll do some swiping to get it to look like more like a landscape so you're looking over can you see it guys can you see my landscape it's a really easy way without doing it with the brush and of doing a landscape scene I will allow it to dry and I'll be back in a second or two it's coming along I've, I've, leave, I've only left it five ten minutes I just wanted some of that paint to absorb so I'm going to keep this the perspective of it that this is my night sky up here and this is uh, looking over um, the basic landscape so I'm going to do some more swiping to bring up some of the colors just 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 sort of don't want to take away too much. I love that. I just love that colour. That is gorgeous. That's a very naughty dog. Oh, look at that. is just barking at Bindi because she's ignoring him and he wants attention he's definitely I just like the look that you're looking over I think that that is just perfect as it is what do you guys think this is gonna dry those custom colors are the bomb they're just absolutely awesome and I love this piece considering it's you know not full of cells and not full of balloon kisses I'm, a, I'm not going to balloon this one because I love that scene and I'm looking for that kind of scene on a big canvas whether I'll be able to achieve it's a whole nother story but thank you so much for joining me there'll be photos on at the end let me know what you think of this easy way to kind of do a landscape scene with a paw so thank you guys for joining me bye for now